This is News Trail, your daily dose. Welcome to News Trail. This Tuesday, April 12, 2022, I am Adetola Kayode. Diverse reactions have been trailing Vice President Yemi Oshibajo's declaration to contest for presidency come 2023, laying to rest speculations about his ambition. Oshibajo had on social media via a pre-recorded video highlighted his experience and antecedents in various positions, including being Vice President for seven years and all that qualifies him for the number one job. Expectedly, a number of kudos and knocks have trailed this newest addition to the trail of presidential aspirants, while some could deadly see it as some form of betrayal to his political godfather, Ashiwa Jubola Hamid Tinubu. Some see him as part of the current administration, which has allegedly not done so much good for the country. Others say the few times he had been allowed to be president. Others say the few times he had been allowed to be president in acting capacity that were plausible and effective pluses, and there's not much he could do as vice president, but he is not lagging in all of the qualities needed for a Nigerian president. Peter Nwachiku, husband of late popular gospel artist Osinachi, has been arrested by the police over the death of his wife. The 42-year-old artist died on Friday after spending days at an undisclosed hospital in Abuja. Colleagues of Osinachi, who was the lead singer at Dunamis International Headquarters Abuja, accused her husband of beating her on several occasions. The FCT command of the Nigeria police has confirmed he is in their custody and investigations have begun. Western nations have warned that the use of chemical weapons would mark a dangerous escalation of the conflict in Ukraine and have pledged to take firm action if Russia carries out such attacks. The US and Britain say they are looking into reports that chemical weapons have been used by Russian forces attacking the Ukrainian port of Mariupol. Ukraine's Azov regiment say that three soldiers were injured by a personal substance in an attack on Monday. The Pentagon called the potential use of weapons deeply concerning. Ukraine's deputy defense Defense Minister Hannah Malia says the government is investigating the allegations, adding that early assumptions suggested phosphorus ammunition had been used. And that's it on Ustra for today. Many thanks for connecting. Please do not forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe to my YouTube channel at Detola Coyote. Have a fantastic day.